Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how we can create a differencing disk in Hyper-V. There are three types of Hyper-V virtual disk: fixed, dynamically expanding, and differencing. In the previous video, we learned the steps to create a new dynamically expanding disk in Hyper-V. The link to that video is provided in the description. Usually when discussing Hyper-V's virtual disk types, the focus is on fixed disk and dynamically expanding disk. There are another type that receives much less attention, differencing disk. In this video, we will focus on how Hyper-V differencing disk work and how they can be used for quick VM deployment. A Hyper-V differencing disk is a type of disk used to store changes made to the parent virtual hard disk. When creating a differencing disk, we must specify the virtual hard disk that will serve as the parent for the new differencing disk. As a result, this disk establishes a parent-child relationship with the virtual hard disk referred to as the parent disk and the differencing disk as the child disk. All changes to the data or operating system are written to the child disk while the parent disk remains unchanged. Each differencing disk can have only one parent disk, but a single parent disk can be linked to multiple differencing disk. This setup allows you to create a highly functional virtual environment where each VM can have its own differencing disk to store configurations that differ from the parent disk. In this video, we will be going over how we can use differencing disk to quickly deploy multiple VMs in Hyper-V that have the same OS without having to install that OS over and over again. The entire process is divided into three parts. Creating the parent disk, creating Hyper-V differencing disk and creating a VM using a Hyper-V differencing disk. To create a parent disk, we first created a VM and installed the Windows Server 2025 operating system on it. The VM is fully updated with the latest Microsoft updates. You can also install the essential common softwares and applications needed by the users. Since this is a just a lab, we installed the WinRAR application for testing purposes. Now you should generalize the OS for further deployment using Sysprep. Running Sysprep removes all security and identification information from the computer, allowing you to reuse this clean windows image on different machines. This can significantly reduce VM deployment time. Open the Run menu, type sysprep and hit enter. Double click the sysprep application to open it. Check the generalize box. In the shutdown options, choose shutdown instead of restart. This will give you time to copy the windows image before the VM starts. Then click OK. This process may take a while to finish. Please wait until it is complete. The sysprep process has finished and the VM is now powered off. Please close the VM connection tool. The Windows Server 2025 parent disk is now ready. We should set the parent disk to read only to prevent any changes from being written to the parent disk. Look at the parent VHD on our computer. We have saved the VM configuration file and VHD file in the Hyper-V VMs folder on the D drive. Right click on the VHD file named WS2K25 and select properties. Check the box next to read only, then click OK to save the changes. You can also copy the VHD to different location to prevent any confusion. After creating the parent disk, we can begin creating Hyper-V differencing disk. Go back to Hyper-V manager. In the actions section, select new, then click hard disk. The new virtual hard disk wizard should open. Click next on the informational screen. The format of the differencing disk should match the format of the parent disk and that's why we have to go with the VHDX type. Select VHDX and click next. Select differencing disk type and click next. The next step is to specify a name and location for a differencing disk. I have given name 2k25-diffvdisk01.vhdx and the location is going to be d colon slash hyper vms slash ws2k25-sav01. After specifying the disk name and location, click next. Specify which virtual disk will be used as a parent disk for the new differencing disk. Click browse to select the parent disk. Click on this PC. Go to D drive, Hyper-V VMs, ws2k25, ws2k25, 
virtual hard disk. Select ws2k25.vhdx and click open. Make sure you have selected the correct path to your parent disk. Click next to continue. Review the properties of the new virtual hard disk you are about to create. Once you have verified everything, click finish. Instead of using the GUI method, you can also easily create Hyper-V Differencing Disk using this commandlet. After the operation is complete, we can verify that the Hyper-V Differencing Disk has been created by opening the folder where it is expected to be stored. Go back to the File Explorer, click on Hyper-V VMs, access WS2K25-SRV01 folder and this is our newly created Differencing Disk with the name 2K25-DIFVDISK01. Check the size of the VHD, it should be 4 MB at the moment. In the final step, we will use this differencing disk to create a new Windows Server 2025 Hyper-V Virtual Machine. Go back to Hyper-V Manager. In the Actions section, select New, then click Virtual Machine. The new Virtual Machine Wizard should open. Click Next on the informational screen. You should follow the same process to configure a new Hyper-V VM and assign the same VM properties. However, in the Connect to Virtual Hard Disk section, select the option to use an existing virtual hard disk. Specify the name and location for your new VM. I have given name WS2K25-SRV01. Let's select the checkbox to store the virtual machine in different location. Click on Browse to select the custom location. Click on this PC, D drive, Hyper-V VMs and select the folder WS2K25-SRV01 and click on select folder. Click next to continue. Choose the generation to VM type and click next. Select the amount of startup memory to be allocated to the new virtual machine. Enable the dynamic memory feature for this VM and click next. Select a virtual switch to be used for networking. Select the internal virtual switch and click Next. Select Use an existing virtual hard disk and specify the virtual hard disk to attach to this new VM. Click on Browse to select the newly created differencing disk. Once more, verify the path to the existing differencing disk. If it's correct, then click Next to continue. Review the summary section to ensure everything is correct. Then click Finish to create the VM and close the wizard. The Windows Server 2025 VM using the differencing disk has been successfully created. Right click on the VM and select connect. Click on start button to start the VM. We need to complete the out of box experience steps since we previously sysprepped the Windows Server 2025. Let's quickly complete the UB steps. Let's set up the built in administrator's password. Click on action and select Ctrl Alt Delete to unlock the server. Enter the administrator account password we set earlier and press Enter to log into the Windows Server 2025. Open the Run menu, type fwiz.cpl and press Enter. We can see that the WinRAR application is already installed. You can modify the settings of this Windows Server 2025 as needed. By following the same steps to create Hyper-V Differencing Disk, you can create multiple VMs, each with a pre-configured OS running on them. As a result, we can streamline the management of Hyper-V VMs while also reducing the storage requirements for VM deployments. The Differencing Disk starts at 4 MB. After the machine is sysprepped, the disk size increases to around 1 GB compared to 12 GB for the full image. However, caution is necessary when working with Hyper-V Differencing Disk as improper management can lead to a high risk of losing critical data. For instance, if the parent disk is not right protected, new changes can be applied to it, causing all associated differencing disk to become invalid and resulting in data loss. To prevent such issues, it is recommended to ensure that the parent disk is right protected or to use a data protection solution. That's all for this video on how to create differencing disk in Hyper-V and how they can be used for quick VM deployment. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.